All right, guys, out here today, going to show you how to catch fish with your spinning rod using a fly bubble. Take it and go, my friend. Take it and go. Good old fly bubble. And so first things first is your setup. We got 1500 series reel. I like braid. Got an ultralight seven foot rod. And I use four or six pound fluoro for the leader. Get the good old bubble fly bubble. This is the smaller size here. What you do here, I'll show you. Here you pop the center part loose. And you put this underwater and fill your bubble up with some water. All right, see, it's about half full of water. I use a toothpick here as a keeper. Slide it inside this tube with your line and you can adjust your distance from your fly. I got about two feet. This is a smaller size. The bigger bobbers, the toothpick won't work. So I use a branch just off a random tree. And then a lot of times I'll fish two a lot of times I'll fish a nymph up here above my leech pattern. Today I'm just fishing the, just the leech pattern. All right guys, we are on. Big old brute. Yeah, nice male looks like here. All right in the snoot. Good old fly bubble. Wish I had someone here to take a picture. It's a nice, nice dandy of a fish here. Now, when you cast, you wanna do a little bit of a sidearm cast. Right before it hits the water, you wanna stop your line. By doing that, the fly will get out in front of the bobber. So that way it helps keep less tangles. And then just watch your bobber. You know, up here we fish crystal clear water. And I have found that if I stay seated, it increases my bites a lot. Cause I fish swim right up close to shore. So if you're standing up, I mean, they can see you from a mile away. Sitting down, they do not seem to see you. I, I, I'll see them swim right up two, three foot offshore, right and look right at me and not even see me. And sometimes you don't just give a little pull. You know, if you think you're getting a bite, nothing happens for a while, just pull it a couple feet. See what happens. Man, he's come back for it three, four times. Another thing too, while you're sitting here watching your bobber, make sure to mend your line. Keep the slack out so that way when you set the hook, you actually set the hook. If there's a bunch of slack out there, you're just not going to get a good hook set. And the biggest difference between, like a with a fly fishing pole, you know, they're nine, 10 feet long. So you can pick up a lot of slack. It's a short rod like this, another fish. You don't have that, uh, that option. So, there we go. <clears throat> Little cutty cut. Little cut through on the prince nymph. Get you unhooked and get you back in the water, little boy. And I suggest polarized glasses. Polarized glasses will make night and day difference when it comes to being able to see your bobber. Because man, that bobber, it's clear, it's hard to see. I mean, it's, I mean, it's hard to see for a reason, obviously. It's hard to see so the fish can't see it, but it's also, it also makes it hard for you to, not, for you to see too. Oh, drag is still loose. Oh, that's a big one. Don't jump. I don't know if I'm able to get him or not. I think that might be the big one you're seeing, Nick. His his tail looked big. I, that's all I saw. I don't want to tighten my drag because it sticks. So I'm afraid to tighten it and it stick and then get off. Come on, boy. Don't jump. I'm trying to keep him in the. Another thing too, I'm trying to keep him down in the water. Or come up and take that uh, and throw the hook. That's what I don't want him to do. Nice fish, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful fish, man. Oh, don't stay down, stay down, stay down. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's running out of energy. Are those water? Are those waterproof shoes? Damn, All right, dude. 